Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Dr. Joe Cutberth, and in the uh, spirit of the digital class, um, I'm going to make you a video today to just sort of introduce myself to you and to uh, let you see a smile on my face, uh, let you hear my voice, um, let you know a little bit about what I look like. Um, since we won't actually be meeting in person, I felt like this is a good way to introduce myself to you and to just kind of talk to you about some important things that will be going on in the class. So um, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, but please pay attention to this. I'm, I'm making this video for a reason. I think it's a good, important way for us to begin communication. And the key to success in this class is going to be to follow the syllabus and follow the instructions. And I'm going to keep it real with you today and tell you how to succeed in the course. And I really need you to uh, kind of take me at my word, okay? So um, I'm going to walk you through the syllabus, which is posted on uh, the course website. So, um, and if you need to contact me, uh, my email address is right here on the syllabus. So use my U of H email address. Um, sometimes uh, the university has a Gmail address for me in there that's an old, old address. Um, so please don't use that. Use the U of H uh, email address if you need to email me, the one that's on the syllabus, okay? And so speaking of syllabus, let me just uh, hit the high points of this for you. But you should read this yourself. I've, I've taken a lot of time and tried to write this in a way that would be very, very easy to read and understand and let you know all the things that you need to do to succeed. This is going to go very fast. It's four weeks, and you'll knock out three hours and get a prerequisite in for some of your other classes. It should be a really good deal. And I, hopefully you'll learn some stuff and, and have a good time uh, getting to know kind of media and society. I like to think about media and society. I teach this class in the long term, in the, small, in the fall and in the spring. But I, I tell my students that this is really kind of the uh, welcome to the tribe class. If you're going to uh, study communication, uh, this is really the first, what, uh, the first kind of time we get with you and we say, these are some of the things you need to think about. And uh, when you're at parties or when you're talking to your professional friends, you know, there's some things you need to know about the history of media, about how it works, uh, about uh, research and things that have been done. And sometimes people think of media in ways that are kind of like uh, uh, just the way the, the kind of uneducated public thinks about them. But we want to teach you how to start thinking about media and communication in a professional way. And so uh, to do that, you need to know uh, some history. And you need to know some uh, uh, some regulation. You need to know some ethics. You need to know uh, differences in uh, digital and film and uh, newspapers and books and all of that kind of stuff. So you can make really good choices as you go forward in your degree and as you kind of start thinking about exploring uh, communication study at the Valenti School. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to read to you from the from the uh, syllabus. It's about a five page document. And again, you can go to Blackboard. And it will be in the administrative module. But we'll get into all of that. But it will be posted there. And um, if you ask me a question or send me an email and it's on the syllabus, I'm going to write you back and say it's on the syllabus. Because I really, really need you to uh, read this document. Take it seriously. Uh, don't, uh, uh, don't just guess at how to do your work for the course. It's all written down here. It's really easy to follow. And this should be a pretty, pretty easy and hopefully a really fun course for you. All right. So let's get started. Um, uh, the first thing, let me tell you, is this is a digital course, uh, and uh, there are no class meetings. We will never meet in person. I'll never see you, and unless you know your classmates, you'll probably never see them. So this is a fully digital class, um, and we will kind of, our meeting space will be Blackboard, the uh, content management system that the university uses for every class. So uh, I hope you've got some familiarity with it. If you don't, you need to kind of go through some of the tutorials or there's a Blackboard help desk on campus, but uh, everyone has a Blackboard account. It's a way of life in colleges now, um, and you need to uh, uh, get up to speed and, and start playing around with it, click on around it, but you will find everything you need there, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, one of the things that's important for me to tell you is um, we'll have 19 sessions uh, 19 days that you'll do work for this class, and it's really, really important that you do some work every day for this class. It goes very fast, but for me to give you credit um, for a three-hour course, you have to do, the expectation is about two and a half hours worth of work a day for this class, all right? So most of the times that's reading, watching a film, sometimes it's writing a few uh, short answer stuff that you send me through Blackboard. But you need to budget and be sure that you can spend two and a half hours a day on this class. 
Um, if you're working or you have family situations or all of that kind of stuff um, and you can't, then this may not be the best class for you. But what this is not is a self-paced class that you kind of sort of do whenever. Because when, when quizzes come up, you have to take the quiz on the day the quiz is offered. And uh, if you haven't been keeping up with the readings, um, you're not going to do well on the quiz. So even if all you're doing in a day is reading four chapters in our textbook, please read those four chapters that day because the next day there's four chapters and the next day there's a film and the next day there's something else. So it's really not uh, going to help you uh, if you get behind. So try to stay current. That's, that's, a, that's an important thing. All right. So the textbook for the course is called Understanding Media and Culture, an Introduction to Mass Communication. And it's a digital, saved you some money there. Um, it's a digital textbook. Uh, it's online, and it'll be in the administrative module of Blackboard. You'll find it there. All right. Um, there will also be some some uh, some films that you'll need to watch. Uh, some of them, the copyright has expired. Uh, I can put on Blackboard, but there's a couple you're going to need to get through iTunes or Netflix or whatever, and you should just treat those and consider those in a media studies class, uh, just as supplemental textbooks. Okay. So really, all you'll uh, the most you'll have to spend on this course is to uh, rent two two videos on Netflix. Um, okay. So this is the way the workflow is going to go in general. In general, the workflow will be you'll spend you'll read about four chapters on Monday and another about four or five chapters on Tuesday. And then on the third day, you'll watch a film and I'll have a study guide for that film on Blackboard. And then on the next day, you'll answer some questions. You'll, you'll do some written work where you'll kind of process some of the information. And then the next day, you'll take a timed quiz on Blackboard. OK, so. Um, that's generally, you're going to do that three times, and then the last time will be your final exam. So every week, it'll kind of be the same process. You'll spend a couple of days reading, uh, you'll watch a film, you'll do some writing, and then you'll take a multiple choice, true, false uh, uh, quiz on Blackboard. All right? Um, let's see. Um, let me say this. So um, one of the things you need to do for Blackboard is you need to configure your email so that if I put an announcement on Blackboard, this is very important. Um, if I need to communicate with you guys, or if I want to tell you something or give you an adjustment to something, I'll use the announcements feature on Blackboard. And so I'll do that and I'll send it to the class. Now, the University of Houston sets you up so that your uh, Blackboard goes to, generally, I think it's a default U of H email address. And some of you may use that. Some of you may never use that. Some of you may want to use your Yahoo, whatever. That's all up to you. Um, but you need to configure or forward somehow your, your, the email address that the school uses for you into the email address that you see every day so that if I put an announcement up on Blackboard and it sends you a notice, you'll get that notice, okay? Um, it's not going to be any good to say, um, oh, you know, I, I don't check Blackboard and I didn't get the notice. I didn't realize that the test had been moved today or something. you got to stay on top of that. So just be sure that you're either checking the announcements on Blackboard every day or you just get that, uh, that email forwarded to whatever email it is that you do look at constantly. Okay. Um, let me just say this. If you're having issues with Blackboard, I'm not the right person to call. <laughs> You need to call the IT help desk. You need to call the, the people at the university have all kinds of, of help and uh, whether you want to do instant message with them or call on the phone or email or whatever it is. But if you're having trouble with Blackboard, whether that's uploading something, getting something to play, accessing the grade book, whatever it is, don't email me because I don't know what your operating system is and whether you're using a tablet or a phone and an app versus that. They're the ones that can help you with all of that. So your call, if you're having trouble with Blackboard, is always to the university. It's not to me. Okay. Um, let's see. So let me say this. Um, just in terms of, of how we're doing stuff, um, there's no substitute assignments. There's no makeup assignments. There's no incompletes for this class. Um, uh, it's it, There's no opportunities for extra credit. We're just going to march right through four weeks of this. And you're going to need to just realize that, that there's no, if you, if you miss the quiz, um, there's no personal drama, suspension. It's just a zero, okay? So um, if you're in the hospital, if there's a death in your immediate family, uh, I need some documentation. But other than that, you're expected to do your work on time and submit it on the deadlines. And like I said, I can't start making secret side deals with some people and giving them different uh, ways to earn a better grade than I'm telling everybody else. 
everybody gets the same the same uh, bite at the apple. So, uh, uh, like I said, no makeup assignments, no opportunities for extra credit, no incompletes for the class. Okay, um, your grade will be uh, will be um, collected through three different things. One will be what we'll call response papers. And that will be the thing that you generally write the fourth day of the week. It's after you've read some chapters for a couple of days and watched a film. I'll give you a handout that says, uh, answer these four questions. Okay? And so you'll send that in and I'll get it. It'll, it'll be a great, you'll get a grade for that. So there'll be response papers. You'll send, there'll be three of them. You'll do one each week for the first three weeks. And um, there'll be quizzes. There'll be three of those the day after the response paper. And then you'll have a final exam. Okay? Um, now, the reality is um, you're going to do this at home, and so I can't, you know, um, I can't say you can't use your books. You're, you know, I have to, I have to know that some people will use their books. So here's the deal: um, your quizzes and your final exam are timed. Okay, so um, they're it's going to be short. So there'll be like an hour to do the quiz, and maybe an hour and a half to do your final, something like that. So there will be like 40 questions. You will not have time to not do any work during the week and just open your book and start doing the quiz and take four hours to do it. You're, when you log on the quiz, it's going to be on Blackboard and the time will be clicking. And I'm going to give you plenty of time to do it if you've done the work of the week. If you haven't done the work of the week, you're not going to be able to look up all the answers to all the quiz. So you can't. So what you should do as you're going forward during the week is as you're reading, you should make notes. And at the end of every chapter, there, and you'll see it in the textbook, there's a couple of questions and there's, you know, some high points. And the book is helpful about these are the main ideas of the chapter. So that's where you go. But you need to read the chapter and at the end kind of do that own work at the end of each chapter that I give you. And you'll be fine. You'll, you'll do just great. Okay. All right. So let's see. Um, there's going to be, um, um, the, they're on the syllabus. The very last thing on the syllabus is what's called the course calendar. Let me see if I can get that. See that? So um, the course calendar is, um, it says like December, it's, it's just got by day. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy there. Uh, December 7th, introduction, read Understanding Media and Culture, chapter 1, section 1, 2, and 3, and chapter 1, section 5, and chapter 1, section 7. On December 18th, the second day, you'll read from the same book, chapter 11, 1 through 11, 5. On the third day, you're going to watch The Social Network, and there will be a study guide uh, in the module on Blackboard that will help you through that. Um, on the fourth day, that's a review. So there's going to be a couple of very small videos to watch, and then you're going to write your first response paper. And then on Friday uh, is your first quiz. Okay? So uh, Blackboard is set up so that there's a module or a folder or whatever you want to call it for every single day that's on this course quiz. Their headline is the same thing. It just matches right on. So you can just march right through it. Uh, in the administrative section is the syllabus, the textbook, the stuff that we'll use for everything. And you'll see on there um, quiz, 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 and final exam. You'll just go in there that day and you'll open it up and you can take it any time that day from 8 to 5. Uh, it'll be timed so once you start you can't stop, pause, uh, you know, uh, go walk your dog, whatever. Uh, you've got a certain amount of time and you need it's a time test. So uh, just kind of get in mind and, and so that you'll know as you're going through the week uh, you want to be putting that information together so that you'll be uh, learning some of it, getting it, uh, getting it synced, and ready to take those quizzes. All right. So I'm going to end that up today. Uh, that's just my first thing. I'll, I'll make some of these. I'll make more of these, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you uh, probably every week or so. But I just wanted to kind of introduce myself, let you hear my voice, uh, tell you a few things that are important, like deadlines, like no makeup, no missed assignments. It's just we go forward and we do it. So. Um, <clears throat> If you want to read the read the syllabus, I'd really urge you to do that. Figure out if this is the right course for you. If it is, get on Blackboard and start having a good time going through reading and get started. Um, use my email address if you want to email me. Um, and that's it for today, I think. Uh, it was nice to uh, at least begin our conversation. I hope you enjoy the course. And please feel free to email me anytime. And if we need to have some discussions, we can do FaceTime or Skype or whatever you want to do. I'm glad to do that. I'll be here to, to help you. And I want to get you through this. And I want to introduce you to media and society in a way that really makes you excited about you know, your studying here at the school. So have a nice holiday. Uh, we'll be in touch. And good luck. All right. Bye-bye.